I don't know. I mean, I've always was really interested in science as a kid. I probably wanted to be an aeronautical engineer up until I was maybe realizing that that was going to mean years more of school, which by high school I was done with doing. So uh, that was pretty much the end for me. Embarrassingly, the first album I bought, I remember I went to Best Buy, I was with my mom. I was in a Best Buy already. It was not like I went there to buy these things. It just happened to be the choices I made at seven years old, whatever I was. And I was like, yeah, Britney Spears, I know who that is. And then Sync, yeah, I know the song. So I bought those two CDs. I think they probably were $20 a piece at the time. And, uh, and that was probably, uh, you know, I've never actually admitted that on camera before. There's some really good songs on both those records, actually, so I don't mean to, you know, diss anyone who was part of that, but... <laughs> I mean, I'm, I've been a fan for a long time, but I recently was on the plane, and I was just like, I'm gonna go on a Coldplay bench. <laughs> I did it, and it was great. I didn't regret it. It would be like, oh, music, I can't live without music, man. But more specifically, I think my hearing, just because I, th I think about if you went deaf, like, that would be, like, the worst thing you that would be insane. I, would, I can't do that. I, don't know, I think Austin's probably one of the coolest cities in the world, and it's kind of out. Of, the, the secret's kind of out now, but I, I, I wouldn't even know where to begin. The breakfast tacos there are really great. The music's pretty good. The uh, you know, it's got it's got hot weather, but it's like oh, that's pretty much the only thing I could knock on it for. It's just like it's hot, but it's Texas. This whole record has kind of been like sort of the second chapter of my life, you know, after I sort of like got into the, the business, which has, you know, sort of changed my, my mindset on making music in certain ways, and, you know, I've, I've grown up a lot as a person, and so the, the EP's called Intoxication, sort of in the way that like my new, you know, uh, sense of reality's kind of like changed my mind, and, uh, you know, all the songs are kind of personifying different things sort of as like an intoxicating chemical or something like that, so. Psychedelic swag kung fu. Sort of that's the if that, that's the genre I've usually seen it placed in the record store. Usually it's like you find psychedelic. You go rock and then psychedelic. And then, well, it depends on the store, but um, 